Howdy, howdy. So today we're building fence. I've been working on this for a little bit, trying to get it cleared out and clean so I can put it in. Yeah, we've got to get a fence to keep these goats out of the garden. They keep sneaking around here, coming in the back. They've eaten some broccoli and cauliflower. Otherwise, they left most the stuff alone, thankfully. But once stuff starts to grow, I don't want to take chances. They work too hard to keep it planted and weeding it to let the goats eat it off. Well, the price of wire has really gone up. It was over 260 with tax, or plus tax, the wire day. We're going to need more wire to finish the job, but that's all I can afford right now. Pulls, uh, metal T poles for about $5, a little over $5 a piece. So, yeah, price has really gone up. You know, I can remember back when I was younger. Metal T poles, 99 cents. The good ones were $1.87. And wire was less than $50 a roll. Yeah, things have changed. I really have. I think in the last three years, our price has just about doubled up here. Yeah, so right now I'm digging the corner pole for the fence line. And there's a crab apple tree behind me. It's a pretty old crab apple tree. You know, I was thinking, the more modern people get, that if something happened, the more helpless they'd be to survive or to live. Because people have lost knowledge to do common things. Yeah, I feel sorry, sorry for the state of the world, if it, what, what would happen if shit hit the fan right now. You sit there in the vehicle while I was shopping today, and Watching people go by, and yeah, I can tell they're out of shape and overweight. Like, my, my, my. People must not eat a very healthy diet. They don't work very hard, and they just aren't healthy. Can you imagine having, see, having those kind of people having to work? It'd be tough. They'd be so, they're so overweight. They, their bodies aren't used to working. I feel sorry for them, but. I guess you can't force people up to eat good. I heard Canadian Prepper last night say we're living in an incubator. Well, we're not living in an incubator. I think a lot of people are. Life's How can we convince more people to be concerned about this issue? I don't know. I have a hard time convincing my wife. Yeah, if anybody needs to work out, you guys can come on over. I've got plenty of work to do. It'll, it'll help strengthen all the different kinds of muscles. I mean, we've got different jobs. We've got to help move firewood. You can help pick up branches, help weed the garden. Learn to milk the cow. Yeah, we got a lot of smoke in the air still from Canadian fires. Yeah. They look almost like clouds. Yeah, we've had for the last four, almost five weeks now, smoky. I was told that part of it is because the black spruce got the worms on them about five or six years ago bag worms I think it is and a lot of those trees got fungus that either killed or partly killed them there's lots of dead timber standing dead timber and laying dead timber that makes a good fuel for a fire and that's probably why a lot of these fires are, are burning on the dead spruce trees they're all over Canada we have some here too that died not as much right in our place, but there's other places around here in this area that have some dead ones. Well, hopefully this last rain helps the hay grow faster. It's been growing real slow. The pasture's not growing very fast. I'm going to have to mow the thing because looks like the daisies and buttercups are taking over. I guess when the grass isn't as high and doesn't do as well, those other plants have more of a chance to take over because animals don't eat them. What I'm worried about is if I just leave them without cutting them, then the seed heads are going to fall and there's going to be more of them. That would be a real mess to have a full pasture just daisies. This ground here is kind of sandy. It's a mix of sand and clay, so it's not pure clay. And it is, it's quite dry, actually. I was expecting a little more moisture, but I guess we have cut, had really dry lately. Had a... Dry spring again. 
Yeah, right to my um, to my right was a big big lilac bush, about ten foot tall. Took that down, and burned it. I got small one behind me yet. So in the last week, uh, skipper mosses showed up. If you walk along the roads, you see quite a few of them. It's called the European skipper moss. The only moss that I know that fly in the daytime. Last year, I only saw a couple of them. Maybe they do better in dry years. Still haven't seen very many butterflies. I saw one cabbage butterfly, um, let's see, was it two, three days ago? And I killed it, so hopefully I was able to avoid uh, getting worms on my cabbage. I saw her lay a few eggs on the kale. But we'll see. Last year we have to spray. This year we'll see what happens. So far we haven't had spray at all. Like I said before, I don't even hurt when I spray. I like to use that one gallon of water, a cup of sugar, and a tablespoon of either basic age or Dawn dish soap. That kills any soft bodied insects on contact. Boy, these telephone poles are heavy. Well, wild strawberries are on right now. If you go out in the pasture, there's quite a few of them. They aren't very big, but they're tasty. Well, we got our pole in. Pull on each side and then tap it down. Embracing. Well, you guys all take care. I'll let you watch the rest of the video in silence. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.